What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna to touch on a topic that doesn't get a whole lot of topic time on my channel or pretty much any other bowling YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about the overseas market and what that actually even means. So if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the notification bell. If you like this jersey or any of the jerseys in any of my videos, coolwake.com. My promo code is Napolis10. This is my last name followed by one zero. Get you 10% off your entire order. Then down below in the description, there's gonna be a link where you can order anything bowling related. There also, there's also gonna be a link to my Discord as well as my Patreon. Okay, so these two bowling balls are the Storm Superlock and the Storm High Road Gold. Both of these bowling balls are made by Storm in Utah but they're not available in the United States. Why? That's the big question, why? And that's because the overseas market, mostly in like Korea, Japan, just basically overseas, they order their own bowling balls that are not available here, in, in a nutshell. I'm not exactly sure why that is. I know that it has a lot to do with the culture. They don't like throwing things that other people throw. So because of that, they're just constantly ordering new, new bowling balls. So the Storm Superlock, which you guys saw me, you've seen me review both of these balls already, but we're gonna talk a little bit more about them. So the Superlock is, is really nothing special. It's the lock core, the Rad X core that was in all the locks, except it's wrapped around the, RE, uh, the NEX pearl cover stock, and it comes out of a box at a 1500 grit polish finish. And then the High Road Girl, Gold, we've seen the High Road Core stateside, obviously, and we see the nan we've seen the Nano Pearl cover stock stateside. We just haven't seen it together. Okay, so that's gonna be like the biggest, biggest difference. And then a lot of times, actually the vast majority of times, a lot of the overseas ball, I don't have any of these, but a lot of the overseas balls have the exact same core, exact same cover, in the exact same scent. It's just a color difference. And actually there's one called the IQ Tour Solid 2, which is literally the exact same core cover smell, just the engraving is a different color than the original IQ, uh, um, IQ Tour Solid. So just because it is an overseas ball doesn't make it better or worse. It's just not available here in the United States. So I'm gonna take you guys out on the lanes now with the Super Lock and the High Road Gold. Let me know down below in the comments what, what overseas balls, if any, do you guys have and which one you'd like to see brought stateside. For me, I would love, well, for this Super Lock to come stateside. All right, first shot here in the Super Lock. And I'm gonna start a little bit straighter because it is a fresh half shot. Oh, I'm right, gonna move right just a little bit here. See if I can get it to pick up a little bit sooner. There. Yeah, a little bit straighter, a little bit softer hand, at least to start is what I think the magic is. Just keep that going, softer hand at the bottom. All right, last shot here in the super lock before I get into the high road gold. Not my best shot there, not my best shot. Good result though. So when I first reviewed the super lock, I told you guys just how much I loved it. And I, I still do, this ball just rolls fantastic. And like I said in the original review, I think if we ever got a gem pearl, I think that it would be really, really close to this. So now I'm gonna get into this High Road Gold, which again is the High Road Core with the Nano Pearl cover stock that comes out of box at a 1500 grit polish finish. So I'm gonna take you guys down the lanes now, start in that same spot, but what, what I'm expecting is a ball motion that's gonna be way cleaner through the fronts with a little bit more pop down lane because it is a higher RG Pearl ball. All right, first shot here in the High Road Gold. I have not thrown this ball in a long time. Okay, definitely cleaner, definitely weaker than that super lock. All right, let's keep making good shots here with this high roll gold. Good shot. Oof. Yeah, this ball is just, <clears throat> This ball's just a little too clean for the fresh because that last shot was really well executed. All 
All right, last shot here from this zone in the high road goal. You guys can't tell, but I didn't actually foul. Uh, that was not a foul. Yeah, the, the high road gold is just a little bit too clean through the front for the fresh. It kind of forces me to be a little bit more accurate than the super lock does on the fresh. But guys, the whole thing is that these balls aren't better just because they're exclusive. The closest thing to what's available today is like, think of this as like maybe a different version of the altered reality by 900 Global. And then this one, the easy comparison is just the High Road Pearl. But I think the High Road Pearl is still a little bit weaker and a little bit quicker down lane because this one does have the Nano Pearl cover stock. So let's get back on the lanes in the Super Lock and just chase it a little bit left. All right, back in the Super Lock and I'm gonna chase it a little bit left here and see. All right, let's just keep executing here. Yeah, if I could bring one back, it would for sure be, or not back, if I could bring one stateside, it would be the super lock. Because of that. See, the way I'm coming out of it right now, my release, man, if I could do that forever, slow roll it. All right, last shot here in the super lock before I get back into that high row gold. Guys, this super lock is nasty good. I'm telling you, if I could bring one of them stateside, it would be this one. And then who knows, by the time you're watching this video, maybe something that's a big ASIM solid with a strong pearl cover has come out. I don't know, This, I'm shooting this video a month in advance. So now we're gonna get back on the lanes, same part of the lane, at least try with the high road gold to see if I can get it to come around the corner. And if it doesn't, I will move back right because it's substantially weaker than this super lock. All right, back in the high road gold. And like I said, I'm gonna to try to go to that same spot I was just at with the super lock to see. There we go, they're broken down enough. Oh! All right, let's start chasing it left because the lanes are breaking down pretty quickly here. There we go. All right, my backswing got a little high on that shot, so I'm really gonna try to keep it down and execute a really good shot. See, when I execute like that, good things happen. Push a little. Oh! All right, so now we're 10 shots each with each of these balls. And I think the biggest thing to take away from this whole video is that just because a ball is overseas, yes, it's worth a little bit more because they're not available here in the United States, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're better or that much better or anything like that. It's not like I'm striking 100% just because the ball's worth $350 or whatever the price is. So I'm gonna get back on the lanes with the super lock. And now that the lanes are really transitioning a lot, I'm gonna get pretty far left with both of these balls to see which one of them looks a little bit better from further deep. And then also guys, let me know down below in the comments which one of these two you think looks better for my game and which one may look better for your game. I'm thinking the super lock for me is what I'm thinking. So I'll see you guys back on the lanes. All right, back in the super lock now. Just gonna get left, try to slow wheel it a little bit. Not today, seven pin. All right, I really like that shot if I could just post it. So let, let's do that here. Push. All right, a couple really good ones here to end the video. Last shot of the video here in the super lock before I finish it off in the high row gold.
Missed in a little bit. All right, so there are all the shots in the super lock. And I think this is the one that has impressed me the most out of all of them. Now, is it worth me spending or you spending double the price as maybe an altered reality or anything like that? That's up to you to decide. For me, I'd rather have two altered realities than one super lock, if that makes sense. Now I'm gonna get back on the lanes with the high road gold and chase it super far left. But actually, one thing I wanna preface with this is that if this was a stateside release, I'd rather have this than the altered. Okay, so I'll see you on the lanes. All right, back in the high road gold, and this one I really just wanna create a bunch of angle. So I think I can get the ball right of that and still strike, but I'm not sure, so let's try here. Oh, the answer is yes. You know, for this ball being a nano base cover, it is deceptively quick down lane. Yeah, I, uh, I like with this ball, a little nice little international one-two combo. Now we're just gonna keep going till we miss. I, I like this motion a lot. All right, let's just keep going. I got three shots left before I run out of frame, so hopefully I can punch out. Oh, through that terrible. Through that terrible, I can't end on that, right? All right, I can't end on that bad shot. So let's end here on a good one. Last shot of the video. Done. All right, so there you have it. This video was all about what overseas balls are, why they are overseas balls. And just to let you guys know that just because they're exclusive overseas doesn't necessarily make them better. Now. These two balls I think are really, really good and probably like the top of the top as far as the overseas balls. This is a very strong asymmetrical pearl. And then once the lanes broke down, this high road pearl or high road gold rather looked fantastic. And because of that nano cover, it gives you some miss room when you miss left where the high road pearl that's stateside being R2S pearl doesn't give you so much hold or so much traction in the oil. So guys, thank you so much for joining me in this video. I super appreciate it. Click right here to watch my other videos. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time. We're done.